Tonight, we bring you this very special televised broadcast. If you can hear me through your ear holes, please type in the message box, yes or no, or anything else you'd like to type. I'm really excited about this evening, and as you can tell, I'm acting goofy because anytime I get excited, I start to act a little goofy. But fear not. We'll have a good time. It'll be educational. And I have uh, the highest confidence that your time will be well spent and you'll have a lot of fun in the process. First, before we get going, I want to make sure you can see the screen like I can. And it says the underground better than affiliate marketing. <laughs> can you see that? OK, kids. <laughs> OK, I think I'm getting back to normal now. Can you guys see the screen? Awesome. Well, guys, I want to uh, let you know, first off, I really appreciate you taking time out of your day to be here tonight, and I'm confident we're going to have a lot of great information. However, I like to be authentic. I like to be honest. I'm going to tell you exactly where we're at. This presentation uh, was not some slick presentation uh, created to like make a lot of sales. In fact, it didn't exist a bit ago uh, because I reached out to the individual who's going to be hosting and presenting this information for you. And I said, generally, I'm really interested myself. I'd love to see what you do. I want to learn more about it. And uh, do I think it's better than affiliate marketing? Absolutely. In so many respects, yes. And as we kind of move into this, uh, and towards the end, as we get to questions, I'll explain why that is. But one of the things um, I, I want to bring to your attention is that affiliate marketing is getting very, very crowded. And this is something that I don't see a lot of people doing. Uh, what we're going to cover tonight has been around for a long, a long time, and it basically involves buying and selling. And you can do it in a way that's pretty hands-free. You don't have to meet your uh, prospects face-to-face. -face. You don't have to talk to them over the phone. You can acquire assets pretty cheaply, and you can sell them at a great uh uh, price increase. In other words, you can buy something cheap and sell it ex at, at a higher price and makes lots of money. Now, why I think that is perhaps better than affiliate marketing is because you're in control. You're not working for another company. You're not hoping that they'll approve you as an affiliate. You're in total control. You have more creative freedom, and that can give you such a dramatic edge in online marketing. So that's a little bit about our webinar tonight. Um, I want to introduce you to Mr. Dark Overlord, and that's Gene, Gene Pimtel. And I, I probably said your name a little wrong, or I hope I did okay, Gene. But Gene, it's a pleasure to have you on tonight, and I'm super excited uh, to be here and to, to take in what you're going to share, buddy. Brian, you can call me anything you'd like, <laughs> whether it's pronounced right or not. The last name is pronounced uh, Pimentel. Pimentel, okay. Uh, Pimentel. Pimentel or Pimentel? <laughs> it depends on what part of the country you're from. <laughs> okay, well, that's pretty easy. Pimentel, just like it, it, it looks. Exactly. But I prefer Mr. Dark Overlord. Well, I'll be Mr. Dark o Overlord tonight. <laughs> well, awesome. So, everybody, Gene's going to share with us what he's been doing for over 10 years to make an incredible full-time income online. And here's the thing I want to first, before we jump in, I want to share with you the the highest paid affiliate marketers are those people that are in control of their own marketing. They have their own products to sell. They get results in certain way. They have their own products. They have their own marketing strategy. In other words, they do something else besides just affiliate market it, affiliate market. And they become an expert in one particular area. And Gene is an expert in domain names. And thus, I bet Gene could crush it, and I bet he has in affiliate promotions where domain strategies are involved because he is an expert. And this is truly a great way to get started, whether you're uh, a newbie or you've been around a while. We all need great domain names, and we're going to learn how to acquire them, how to keep them for ourselves, or how to flip them for an incredible uh, profit. So, Gene, I hope I did you justice uh, setting up this webinar. I'm super excited. I'm going to mute myself. And we'll take questions at the end. So if you guys have got questions, uh, we'll absolutely uh, take those at the end. So, Gene, thanks a lot for being here. I'm excited. Take it away, my friend. All right, Brian. You know, I rarely do webinars like this, especially with the content I'm going to provide. Uh, but I respect you so much. Um, you know, I really appreciate you. You're one of the great guys in the business, and it's a pleasure to be here. 
And excuse my voice, it may sound a little raspy because I've got a slight sore throat here, but uh, I'll get through it. So I guess we should just write, get started right away. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about myself, and I don't want to spend too much time on this because you're not here to listen about me. You want to learn about the, the process of domaining. But I'm originally from Cape Cod, Massachusetts, and you can tell by the accent probably, <laughs> but I live in upstate New York now with my awesome wife, Roe, and three furry kids, which are kittens. Um, so we are in a small town up here by the lake, and it's wonderful, uh, but I do miss a civilization sometimes. Um, Roe and I actually met uh, about 10 years ago on a dating site, and there we are. We got married uh, about 10 years ago, actually, and this is our uh, honeymoon, uh, playing with the dolphins. So we love to cruise. We love to do uh, take vacations to the Bahamas and where it's warm because here in Oswego, New York, it gets awfully cold. So I've been involved with Internet marketing since 1996, and my background is in offline marketing, advertising, direct mail sales. Um, I had a business that I started way back when, and it was strictly direct mail. This is before internet times. Um, and once I discovered the internet, it was a, it just opened up my whole world of business. I, I sold business services, but they were physical products as well as services that needed uh, customer meetings and so forth. But once the internet opened up for me, I transferred my entire business to the internet and once I did that, and I got a few domains for my business and so forth, one day I received an email that just blew my mind. It was seven words that changed my life. One single email. Oops, I went a little too far there. Hmm, I'm, I'm missing a slide. But <laughs> basically, let me just back up here and check something. Ah, here it is. Okay, sorry about that, folks. So what was the seven-word email I received that changed my life over a decade ago? And it was, would you consider selling your domain name? Well, that question, I mean, it, it just blew my mind because and I apologize, the slides are mixed up. Let me backtrack a little bit here. And we'll catch up. Um, so those seven words were, would you, would you be interested in selling your domain name? Um, I'll get back to that in a moment. And Brian already <laughs> burst the bubble here a little bit by telling you what the underground was. And this underground thing is a thing that many people have been doing since the beginning of the internet. Many have made millions, many have made hundreds of thousands, and many have made consistent job replacing incomes. Um, but I need you to forget everything you know about internet marketing. So do you agree that you'd like to learn about what this whole system is that is better than affiliate marketing. Just type yes in the chat box if you agree, because if, if you don't, then it won't make sense for me to continue. So Brian, you seen a lot of yeses there? I think you have your mic off, so I'll just assume that there are. So I'm yeah. assuming that everybody here is to learn. Go ahead, Brian. Yeah, absolutely, buddy. We're getting tons of yeses. Everyone is uh, dialed in. We're ready to to really hear what you have to say, and this is this is great. This is exactly what I was hoping for. So, excellent. Okay, let's proceed. <clears throat> in the next hour or so, you're going to learn everything you need to know about generating good chunks of cash, hundreds and even thousands of dollars at a time. And at the end of this training session, I'm going to give you the opportunity to take it much further and I'd love for you for all the attendees here to participate uh, but either way rest assured you will get enough information from this free training tonight to make money right away so here's that slide that was mixed up and would you consider selling your domain name and of course I was just blown away by that question because I didn't even know a domain market existed this I was brand new to the internet 
and um, the next slide is going to be out of line, but we'll get back to that question again once we do get back in sync with the slides. Um, so yeah, th that, that's it. I was stunned. People buy domain names. Why would they do that when they can just register one for $10? Well, my reply to the email was also short, but I felt it needed nine words. I said, well, I suppose. What do you have in mind? They replied with an offer for $2,500, and I was just floored. They, I mean, don't they realize they, they paid that I paid less than $10 for this domain name? I asked around to my business buddies who were much more savvy than I, than I was in these matters, and they confirmed that this was truly a thing. They told me I should take the offer and buy them and all, <laughs> buy them all a night on the town for helping out. And I said, I, you know, I took half their advice and I did sell a domain name for $2,500 and I've never looked back. That was a brand new opening for my business. I spent most of the following week learning as much as I could about buying and selling domains. That week turned into three years of completely immersing myself into learning the business inside and out. Uh, in actuality, I've never stopped learning to this day, but to be clear, the business I'm talking about is domain flipping, not domain investing. There's a big difference. Domain flipping typically means you register a domain for under $10 and quickly sell it for hundreds or even thousands. Domain investing, on the other hand, is a whole different ballgame. That's when you typically purchase a domain from, from somebody for many thousands of dollars and sell it for double or triple that price. For the past decade, I focused on domain flipping because it's a much more flexible and forgiving model. Before we go any further, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. Domain flipping is, a much more lucrative, is much more lucrative today than it has been at any time in the past. Any time. That's a bold statement, but <clears throat> I'll prove that to you beyond the shadow of a doubt throughout this training session. In fact, later in the session, I'm going to teach you a very specific method to quickly find highly marketable domain names and quickly sell them for hundreds each. Are you interested? I want to hear a lot of yeses right now. All or right. at least see the, see the yeses in the chat box. All right. A lot of people coming through. So why is domain flipping so lucrative today? Well, the answer is quite simple, supply and demand. It's so much harder today for a typical business to find a great domain name that another business doesn't already own. Way back when, you know, when they were talking about the big domain um, <clears throat> gold rush, excuse me just a minute. <clears throat> you know, people people are saying, okay, the domain domaining is over because at one time there was a big gold, uh, you know, domain rush and everybody bought up the good domain names. Well, that's simply a falsehood because <clears throat> Today, there is much more of a demand simply because there are fewer domains to be had by the average person. You'll understand what I'm getting at here as we go along. <clears throat> domain names are the foundation of all internet business, first of all. Every, everybody here that's doing any kind of marketing online uses a domain name in one way or another. The fact is every serious business wants a great domain name. There's always a percentage of businesses that are very willing to pay a premium price for the right domain name. And here's an important key. As a domain flipper, I have access to premium domain names that are available to register only for a tiny window of time. Virtually all typical businesses have no access to these premium domains. But with my systems and my methods, I do. And by the domains being registered, uh, being available for just a short period of time, I'm able to get in there and grab those domain names while everybody else is looking for domain names and don't know where those windows, those windows of opportunity are. So just as you would pay any other professional for their education and knowledge in their field, businesses buy domains based on my ability, knowledge, and experience. You can think of it as being a matchmaker. A relationship matchmaker may charge thousands of dollars to find you a very suitable mate. Why do people pay a matchmaker so much money when they can go out and look for love themselves? Well, to save time, frustration, and for the convenience. The matchmaker has the connections, the resources, and knowledge that you don't have. So that's, typical, that's pretty much what I do with domaining. 
I'm able, through my resources and knowledge, find perfect domain names for businesses and sell them for a lot of money. Buying domains for little and selling them for a lot is like selling real estate, just in digital form. I've sold thousands of domain names. Almost all of them have no traffic, no search volume, and no other external attributes. <coughs> in fact, most would, have, most would be appraised at nothing more than a registration fee. They sell for good money simply because I'm able to research and local, uh, locate the potential buyers who want them a whole lot more than I do. The biggest mistake most people make in domaining is believing that domain name itself holds value. It simply doesn't. They're only words. Now, yes, there are some domain names that are in the top half percent that are so stellar that it's obvious they're worth something. Most domains that businesses use, you know, two and three word domains, really have no value in themselves, but they are valuable, very valuable to a specific business. The value is achieved by your ability to research and find one buyer who needs or must have it. They alone will determine the value of your domain name. No appraiser or appraisal website can determine the value. Some two and three word domains will command a higher price than many single word domain names because they're more descriptive and more suitable for the buyer's needs. The key is matching up the domain with someone who has a real need or desire. That is where the value lies. I personally have sold single raw domain names for up to $24,000. More typically, I sell for 500, 1,000, or several thousand for each domain that I paid as little as $1 to register. And keep in mind that all the domains that I sell are registered by hand for well under $10, mostly $1, $2, $3 domains. Here are some actual examples of domains that I've sold. Antiques Hunter, 250, Tagbug, 500. Tofinish.com, 250. So you can read through this list. I'm not going to read through all of them, but you can see some are very high, you know, some of them are thousands of dollars, some of them are a couple hundred dollars. Um, <clears throat> they all vary in price depending on my ability to find the perfect customer for them. Express Dialog was $4,000. Clearview LASIK was 4500 Boston Matchmakers was 2100 and here's more. I've got uh, a few different lists here. Th this is just a sampling of the domains that I sell. Vintage Gold Watches, three-word domain, sold for 790 Keep in mind that all of these were registered for well under $10. So Potato Press was only $100, but that's okay because I only paid $3 for it. Now, did you notice anything in common with all of these domain names? If you did, type your answer in the chat box. And uh, Brian, I'll let you see if anybody has the correct answer. But I don't know, Gene. Come on, man. I don't read minds. But I think you I don't read minds. Well, I, th I think it should be fairly obvious. That's why I said that you. <laughs> I'm giving you that job to look over well, the answers. I'm just kidding. I think we have some winners here. Uh, the the overwhelming response is they're all dot coms. Excellent. I'm glad you guys are paying attention. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Every one of them is a .com <laughs> domain. Why? .com is king. When it comes to do domain flipping, .com is the only way to go. Yes, the other extensions can sell, but .com outsells by far. Statistic st ooh, let me say that word again. Statistically, .com domains sell for much more uh, sell much more easily because that's what businesses want. Dot com domains sell for much higher price. It's the default that people turn to when typing in a domain. So when somebody if somebody uses a domain name that's different from a dot com for their business, and a customer will automatically think to type in a dot com. So whoever owns the dot com will get that traffic. So that's why it's important for a business to own a dot com, even if they do own other extensions. So it avoids serious traffic leak. Now, what else did you notice about every one of those domain names? This is a little tougher, and I won't make you try to guess that because um, uh, there, there are a lot of answers. But my answer to this question is none of them contain hyphens or digits. There's a place and a time to use <clears throat> domains with hyphens and digits, but when it comes to registering domains uh, for the purpose of flipping it for good money, you want to avoid them. For example, I sold the domain name 
diamondwish.com for $27.25. If I tried to sell diamond-wish.com with a hyphen, I'd be lucky to sell it for $100. Uh, and, and it would be much more difficult to find a buyer for. So that's just the way it is with domaining. There are two main ways to sell domain names, passive or proactive. So the best thing to do is combine both of those methods, and I'll describe those now. The passive method is when you take, in a, take advantage of one or two of the major domain selling marketplaces like sedo.com and afternick.com. Those are the two main marketplaces. I, rem uh, I recommend listing your domains for sale in both of these marketplaces. Uh, it's free to list as many domains as you'd like, and the domain listings remain until they are sold or you remove them. Once a domain sells, then and only then do you pay a fair commission to the marketplace, typically around 15%. This fee includes a built-in escrow service, so both parties, buyer and seller, are protected. The downside of listing your domains at these sites is it's very, pa it's very passive and can take months, even years, before any bite, you get any bites or offers. The upside is it costs nothing and takes uh, none of your time. You just list them once and forget it. The exposure is worth it. But here's a power tip. A domain name, uh, domain name listed with a specific buy now price will have a much better chance of selling than a make offer listing. That's because a lot of people don't know what kind of an offer to make for a domain name, but they'll gravitate towards the buy now listings because it's easy for them to see, yeah, okay, I'll buy it because I think that's worth that price. So also these marketplaces have millions of domain listings. So making sure that, you're, that you list in the correct category makes a big difference as buyers search the categories of domains. Now that's the passive way to sell. The proactive way to sell will get you the most action and much more quickly. To add uh, to the passive approach, you can upload a quick single page on your domain with a for sale message. You have a full year before renewal time, so as people are looking for domains, they often type in the domain they're looking for in the browser to check it out. And having a for sale message with a contact form really helps. Um, as uh, also the places uh, place the words this domain is for sale in the domain registration information, known as the who is info. That way, when people check to see who owns uh, the domain, they'll see that it's for sale. So these are just tips that uh, you can do to passively sell your domains. The proactive method is by far the most uh, productive. Uh, it means that you manually seek out potential buyers for your specific domain and contact them directly, one-on-one, -on -one, by email mostly, but you can contact, contact them by phone or by other methods if you'd like. Uh, you can literally register a high-powered domain and sell it the same day by reaching out to potential buyers. It can even happen in minutes, although it's more typical to take a few days as you'll be having an email conversation. So there are many, uh, many ways, <laughs> I misspelled that one, to seek out potential buyers, but one of the most effective ways to do this is to search Google and other search engines for the keywords in your domain name. A lot of people forget about using uh, other search engines other than Google, but for domaining, it's wonderful because you come up with a different list of prospects. So visit the AdWord advertisers' websites. They're typically excellent prospects because they're paying to advertise based on those keywords uh, that, you, that you're approaching them with in your domain name. So if your domain contains a, a, a few keywords, you type those into Google or into search engine and see who's paying to advertise with those keywords. You can search for buyers based on your keywords at sites like manta.com and yelp.com. They're directories that have tons of business information. So it's very good, uh, it's a very good place to find buyers. You can search forums uh, that cater to specific niches related to the domain name you're offering. Uh, advertise there or participate in conversations and use a signature link where allowed. You know, once you establish a personality and a, a presence in certain forums, you become the go-to person for the domain names that you're offering. For instance, if you uh, got involved with a real estate forum, you could sell a lot of real estate domains. You can do a direct mail campaign to a very specific few prospects to really get their attention. Direct mail these days does get attention if you do it right. 
uh, whereas everybody else is sending email, you stand out by sending a direct uh, physical piece. So let me take, uh, teach you a very specific method of quickly registering and selling a highly marketable domain name. Are you ready? Yeah, I can hear everybody going screaming and going bouncing off the walls. <laughs> well, let's, let's hit it. In this training, I'm going to focus on a particular type of domain name referred to as local domains or geo domains. There are a lot of different types of domains. I can't cover them all here today, but I will show you this particular method that you can actually use and start making money with. These are domains that specifically appeal to Main Street brick and mortar businesses. So finding domains, uh, you know, everybody says, but all the good domains are taken. How do I find domains that I can sell? Well, that's like saying I can't buy a house because all the houses are already taken. You know, houses exist, there's always a market for them. There are millions of highly marketable domain names available to you every single day, right this moment. And I'm going to prove that to you live in just a minute. Brian, any questions at this point? I'm going to take a sip of water while I'm waiting for yeah. uh, Brian to turn on his mic. Oh, no, it's great, Gene. And um, the thing about it is that really intrigues me is one of the things that I hear a lot of people talk about is, you know, they, they, they want to do different things and they want to be creative. And, and it's hard for people to stick to one thing. And one of the things I love about this kind of a model is it gives you an opportunity to use your creativity and you can always come up with new domains for, for so many different opportunities, for so many different opportunity seekers. Like right now, you're going to show us the geo-targeted or local domains, which is awesome. I just actually registered a few based on just words that I think people would be interested in. I, I kind of played off a term called link bait. So link bait is an SEO term. And I kind of thought, you know, how would that apply to social media? And I came up with engage bait and I was able to register an engage bait. And I thought, you know, this would be cool to have my own little like housing of, or stock of domains. And anyway, so, yeah, you're doing great. And I'm excited to see you dive into it. Yeah, that's awesome. I like that name, engage bait. That uh, has a ring to it and you can make that into a brand. Um, but yeah, like you say, there are so many opportunities to find and to think of new domain markets. There are always new technologies coming out, so there are domain names to be had for every one of those new technologies. Um, there is always something in the news or in the buzz that people really pay attention to, and using a domain name that focuses on those issues can bring you a lot of traffic. There are so many different opportunities with domains. Awesome. Uh, and real quick, um, before we move on, there's a couple questions coming in, guys. Um, okay. uh, Lisa, thanks for asking. And we also have one from Heckler or Hecklar. Um, we'll take questions at the end. So if you could just kind of keep keep those and, and, and uh, maybe type them in again as we near the end. That way we won't forget. Um, I'll write down notes as well, but um, that way Gene can keep moving and maybe the questions will be addressed anyway. <clears throat> Okay, that sounds good. <clears throat> so my point was there are far more marketable domains that are available right now than the total number of domains that have ever been registered. Think about that. So speaking of local geo domains, we're talking about regular businesses on the street uh, that need domains to do marketing online. Every day there are just swarms of new businesses that are offline coming online. So to define local business for our purposes in this demonstration, in this presentation, um, it's your key, your key business people that would be able to use a domain name to further their business. There are many ways to do that for a business, but especially businesses that have a lot of competition in their town. So if there's a lawyer in a, in a large city, or fairly, it doesn't have to be a large city, it can be any size city really, but as long as there's competition where there are at least two or three of them competing to get business online, those are great prospects to sell domains to. So the thing, the beautiful thing about a local domain is it's so easy to rank. 
you know, think about it. Would you rather compete for search engine rankings with a small handful of local business people or tens of thousands of worldwide marketers? You know, typically in internet marketing, this is why I, I told you guys, please forget everything you know about internet marketing because a lot of the rules don't apply to domaining. Um, when you do ranking, you know, when you try to rank your domain in a typical internet marketing situation, you're competing with the whole world or at least the whole United States or the whole country you're at. <clears throat> um, and there's a lot of competition. But with local domains, when you have something like uh, bostonlawyer.com, there are only so many lawyers in that city. So the competition is much smaller for the search engines and it's much easier to rank because it's a much smaller universe you're competing with. So here's the challenge that I'm setting for myself right now. I'm going to show you how to find a local domain easily and quickly in under 90 seconds. Everybody up for that? Yay! Okay, let's <laughs> let's hit it. Do it, Mr. Dark Overlord. <laughs> All right. Uh, and the, one of the sites that I use for this is called Super Pages. So let's take a look. Brian, do you have a stopwatch or do you have an iPhone with a watch uh, timer uh, or something? Yeah, just go ahead. I'll, I'll kind of keep mental note. And I, if I think okay. it's been too long, I'll like <laughs> like shut down the webinar completely and let you know <laughs> that you did bad. All right. Yeah, I mean, the 90, sec 90 seconds is just for example. It's not critical. But here's what I do. Um, <clears throat> super pages, I'll just click on advanced search. Don't even type in any keywords or anything and then click on Browse and Search by Category. Now, you have a wealth of information here. This is like gold. This page right here is gold. Uh, you can, they're all categories of businesses, and each time you click on more below, you'll get a ton more. And let me show you an example of what I'm gonna do here. Let's pick one out of the, at random. Um, this is great, I love it, Gene. I see where you're headed. Yeah, yeah. Wait till you see this. You're gonna—it's gonna blow your mind. Whoa. Let's look at uh, limo services. Okay. Now, look what it gives you: popular cities, Atlanta limo services, Austin limo services, Bellevue, Boston, all these big t cities, and it gives you a list you can just copy. I'm gonna copy that list. I'm gonna open Notepad, paste them in here. Now I'm gonna go to Edit replace and find what I'm going to type a space and replace with I'm going to leave it at nothing so it's going to replace all the spaces with nothing replace all so now we have all the, those keywords uh, listed without spaces now I'll take this list copy it and I'll bring it to a site called uh, let's see where's the one not that one domain hole and here you can click on bulk check, paste that list into this box, select the .com and click check availability. Now take a look at this. A lot of them are already taken obviously, but you have all of these domain names that are ripe for the picking. Buffalo, limo, Buffalo limo services. Do you think that a limousine company in Buffalo would love to have this domain name? <clears throat> Absolutely. And I, I think we've reached the 90 seconds, Brian, but this is pretty much the end of the demonstration for finding a domain name. Do you see how fast that was? And if you go back to super pages, that's one tiny niche in a list of tons of niches. And don't forget, each one of these categories has a more button. And you click on more and you have hundreds more categories. Wow, that's so awesome. It, it's an endless supply of local domain names for you. And many of these are so great uh, that businesses just love them and they'll eat them up. Uh, so where was I back here? So the point is you copy the ones that look appealing to you. You can, you know, you can uh, check to see what the populations of these cities are. Here's one, Quincy Limo Services. That's a fantastic one because that's near Boston and there's a large population, Philadelphia. So um, again, I, every time I see this, I go, 
crazy looking at it because there's so much potential and possibility here. Any one of these domain names could easily sell for $1,000, okay? You're going to register it for a couple of bucks. Do a search for a GoDaddy coup uh, coupon, and you'll find coupons for, you know, $1.99, even $1.17, uh, 99 cents, and it comes out to $1.17 after the fees and so forth. So you, it's costing you nothing to register these, and you can turn around and sell them even if you can't sell them right away, you know, you're not experienced enough to sell them for $1,000 or $2,000, you can quickly turn around and sell them for a couple of hundred. These are, this is fantastic, Gene. And my, like my brain is totally going on overdrive. Like you mentioned, you don't have to launch a website. But one of the great things about your model is that it's based on .com domains. And yep. it's so easy to get these type of cert, uh of phrases to rank if you have an exact match dot com domain. In fact, I mean, I can, you know, later I'll show some of my uh, recent domain acquisitions and I'll show just how easy it is to go to number one. Like there's no work. You just get number one. And Absolutely. if you were to do that, what's going to happen is people, the competition is going to find those sites that you launch. And like you said, you could have like buy this domain for $800 or something. Right. This is powerful, dude. Oh, it is. It, and Brian, I'm telling you, there's so much uh, incredible opportunity with domain names. And it, it drives me crazy whenever I hear people say, well, all the good domains are taken. Well, <laughs> you know the word I want to use for that. Because um, I, I just registered. I, there are so many domains available for people to register, and it's crazy. It's true. Um, I think it's just a matter of really like <clears throat> understanding how people think, understanding how people use certain words and whatnot, and and then you know just being creative. And I know you've you've got a lot more to go, so I'm gonna just let you keep trucking here. But um, I'm excited to talk about it more as we kind of end the presentation. Sure thing. Okay, so let's continue. <clears throat> Here's a case study. I mean, wh why would businesses want to use? Another domain name if they're already if they already have them. A lot of businesses already have their own primary domain name. Well, first of all, a lot of businesses using domain names have domain names that really suck. I'll be blunt. Um, they have dashes in them or they have words that uh, just don't make sense. Uh, you can offer them a domain name that makes so much more sense for them, especially for a local competitive market. Here's a case study. A florist in Texas purchased around 20 descriptive domains, such as Fort Worth Flowers, uh, <clears throat> Flower Nut, Your Flower Place, and Flower Site. Traffic increased by 47%, sales increased by 1.5 million, closed five brick and mortar locations to focus online, and they use these domains in things like printed ads, radio, and TV, so they can see what is actually working. So in other words, they buy domain names and and use each domain name for a different purpose. One may be for a postcard mailing, one may be for a newspaper ad, one may be for a radio ad, and drive traffic that way, and they can uh, tell where the results are coming from. Another case study is a surgical <clears throat> supply company that owns about 15 other websites directing traffic, including you know these domains. A big factor in securing and uh, new and repeat business is ensuring that customers can find our website quickly and easily. Domain names have become a significant portion of our marketing investment, providing benefits that are critical to the su success of overall marketing efforts and ROI. So businesses recognize uh, the fact that domains are a tremendous asset to their business. They just don't know how to find them. Case study, Dell, you know, they use a ton of different domain names. One of them is cloud computing. If you go to cloudcomputing.com, you're going to see the Dell website come up. Uh, Geolocal domains, what you do is basically three steps. Create a list of available domains by doing the search like I just showed you. Choose the highest populated town. Now, take that with a grain of salt because a lot of times the smaller populated towns sell <clears> just <throat> as well. Um, it really boils down to how much competition there is in that town. Go to Yelp, Manta, Google, and search for companies matching your domain name. Be sure to get the decisions maker name and email when possible because you want to talk one-on-one -on -one with the decision maker. Search Google uh, for your keywords and quotes to see who's advertising with AdWords, as I've already discussed, based on those keywords. Now, what type of buyers are you looking for? Small businesses trying to compete locally. That's your biggest market for a geo domain. Um, you know, when there's two or three different competitors trying to get the share of 
the customers online, they're all anxious to find new ways to do that. And you can do that, by, you can help them do that with a domain name. So avoid large brand corporations uh, because they're just hard to communicate with. So here's a sample email of a, uh, what you would send to a company once you have a domain for them. Uh, hello, owner name, you want to call them by name. My name is whatever, owner of the web, uh, web domain, and you list your domain. I'm currently offering this domain for sale to all massage therapists in Atlanta. Uh, should your organization have an interest in acquiring this domain, please contact me. This is a first come, first served offer and you sign off and you give them a way to opt out. This is one sample out of many, many uh, possible samples depending on what you're targeting. Uh, I just want to show you the example to show you how easy it really is. Uh, notice these things. There is no fluff in the, in the email. Right to the point, business to <clears throat> busy. It's not salesy. They see their competition will have a chance at it. Uh, real name and real address and phone number provided. That instills confidence. Make sure that you use your name, your mailing address, and your phone number, and your email address. Give them all points of contact because they don't know you from a hole in the wall. So if you approach them out of the blue, they want to know who you are and how they can research you. They're going to look you up and see what you're, where you are and what you're doing. Um, that gives them the confidence to communicate with you. And of course, it's mentioned that it's a first come, first served quick sale. So make them curious. When you write the email address, uh, the email, you want to make sure that your headline is something that really piques their curiosity. Get them to want to open your email. That's task number one, and that's the most important task. If they don't open your email, you're not going to make any sales. Some successful subject lines that I've used, and there are hundreds, but here are a few. Hey, John, when you have a minute, so it's very inconspicuous. Uh, it doesn't sound like a sales pitch, but you want to ask them about whether or not they, uh, your domain name will suit their business. So use a subject line, something like that. Or, I love your website, and you go on to tell them about a domain name that can improve their website. John, your, comp your competitor is stealing your customers. Or, I had a hard time finding you. You know, that would be based if uh, you want to help them get a better position in the search engines. Something I just noticed, John. You know, that's just a plain old <clears> subject line. <throat> now, notice I did not say, get your website on the first page of Google. Do you realize how many messages every business gets that promises that every day? They just toss them in the trash. They just, you know, in the recycle bin. Bingo. Those are the ones that get deleted every day. Nobody wants to hear about get your website on the first page of Google. Businesses want to know how to get more customers. They don't care about the technology, you know, the technology. They don't care about the uh, search engine, you know, statistics and all that. They want to know how you're going to help them get a customer. So get the decisions maker name and email, and the way to do that is through either their website, through Manta, Data.com, LinkedIn. Better Business Bureau, Chamber of Commerce, press releases. There are a lot of ways to research each customer. And even Facebook is a tremendous resource for finding personal information about business owners these days. Direct mail. Costly, but can be absolutely powerful. Here's a gem of a tip for doing direct mail. Write photo enclosed on the outside of the envelope. Very few can resist opening such an envelope. Just be sure you do include, include a photo. Now, you can take a screenshot of their website and trim it and stick it in the envelope. This way, when you send an envelope with an offer for a domain name, you can throw that in there and, and explain how it will improve their website. Uh, but the point of it is you'll get them to open that envelope by just simply writing photo <coughs> and close on it. It's just a curiosity approach. Works every time. Let's talk about websites. Now, as a domainer, most of the domains I sell, I just sell as raw domains with no other attributes. However, it's a great um, approach when you're selling local domain names to businesses to give them eye candy to say, ooh and ah, that looks fantastic. You know, because they don't quite understand what a domain name by itself will do, but they'll understand a website. So I've developed uh, some templates that you can upload, and it takes three minutes to completely customize and upload. Just three minutes. And it's not WordPress sites. It's not uh, anything tech real technical. You just upload the files and make a few changes. And 
the point of it is it takes you no time at all to do, but it looks gorgeous. So take a look at Swedish Massage Atlanta, and I'll show you what that looks like right now. Uh, da -da 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 -da, here it is. So this whole website is a very simple theme <coughs> that I've developed. It contains articles, okay, on massage therapy in this case. So it's got several different articles. It's got a downloadable PDF uh, information guide for consumers. So uh, your your customers who buy the domain can get all of this, including the the uh, downloadable guide. And it's got a video that you have many options for choosing a massage therapy. It, it helps the consumer to uh, decide to download the free guide. It's got a blog built into it, and it's got the about page and it's got the contact and all you do is upload all the files there's no other configuration except for you can go into custom and let me show you what this looks like you simply log in this is your back end and you just fill in these blanks website name business name street address and so forth Okay, you pick a, an avatar to display on the site, you choose a color, it comes in 10 different colors, uh, you choose a logo that you want to use, and then just, just click customize website, and bingo, it's done. You view your website, and it's all, all, all these elements are customized for that market. In this case, Swedish Massage, because <coughs> I have the domain name I'm using is Swedish Massage Atlanta. Now again, I don't build websites for a living. I sell domain names. This is just eye candy for the buyer of the domain name. It gives them that extra push to say, oh wow, I can have that whole site with the domain name? Absolutely. So, keep that in mind. And these web properties typically sell in the neighborhood of $500 to $1,000 like that, like candy, okay? Especially with that website I just showed you. Does it really work? Well, here's John. Yesterday I bought a domain for $3.17 and sold it for $550. And this is one testimonial out of hundreds that I have. I just don't want to waste your time by showing you all the testimonials. It works. I got my first client yesterday and today I got a second client. I followed your program to a T. I was in the landscaping niche. I found information, blah, blah, blah. So five responded within an hour of sending out the emails. And that's not common, but it happens. One made me an offer $400 and I took it. The domain cost me $2.13. So needless to say, I was very pleased. So what we're doing today, what I'm doing today, is making you a special offer for only for friends of Brian Johnson because I appreciate him so much. But um, I haven't made this offer to anybody else. So this is not just a come on. This is a, a real deal here. You're, you're getting an extremely valuable package if you decide to go with me. Um, what? Okay, let me let me backtrack just a little bit here. Before we go to that link, <coughs> I want to show you. I have a training program called Master Domaining, and every single day I provide brand new training on an ongoing basis. And you'll see some testimonials and videos here and a lot of the subjects I cover. I cover everything that I know about domaining. Each training session every day contains video, audio, the full transcript, and a PDF you can download. Um, typically the price is $97 for the platinum package and it's on sale now for 37 but because you're a customer and friend of Brian G. Johnson, I'm going to give you even a better deal by giving you a super bonus that I've never given away before. And get rid of this. Get rid of this. Uh, I don't have it up, so let me... I have a program, a training program called Local Domain Empire. This program itself <clears throat> is all about local domain flipping. Uh, I explain everything in full detail, in incredible detail, and 
this course sells for $67. It com comes complete with three of the different niche websites with all the elements that you that I showed you earlier. And it sells every day for $67. I'm giving you this free, absolutely free, when, when you join the daily training membership. And I'll show you what that link, well, let me see, do, 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 do. G, G, J. So go to masterdomaining.com slash B, G, J. And you'll see this page, and for only three more days, I'm going to offer this bonus of the full course called Local Domain Empire that sells for $67. Domain. I'm giving it, to you, giving it to you for free once you become a member of Master Domaining. Again, the Master Domaining course itself is a daily training program. You'll receive videos and training of everything I know about domaining on a daily basis. Brian, do you have any questions? <coughs> <clears throat> Brian, can you hear me? I guess Brian is busy doing something. But here's the inside look of one of the training courses. This is what you get every single day. You get the full transcript. Uh, you get the downloadable PDF, the audio, and the video. And it's well, very well organized. You just click on the day to choose. And every day there's a new lesson. And there are member perks every week or so. So let's go back to the slide so you can see the URL. Masterdomaining.com slash BGJ. Go there. Get involved today. And you'll get the $67 free course of Local Domain Empire along with your membership. And again, the Local Domain Empire program is all about what I just showed you in full detail, uh, and you receive three full um, website template packages, so you can immediately start selling these to businesses. Well, this is great, Gene. What a bonus. Holy smokes. That's absolutely tremendous. Um, everybody, yeah, I, I, all, I did go ahead and I sent the special... Uh, BGJ link in the chat. So if you open up uh, the toolbar, the chat toolbar, you should see the special link. And when you purchase using that link, you will go ahead and get the special bonus that Gene mentioned. Uh, I, I want to share a few ideas that I have, if it's all right with Gene, and if you guys would like to hear some of my thoughts about this. Um, first of all, uh, I, I absolutely love this model. Um, can you hear me okay, Gene? I can hear you. Okay, great. And uh, if you guys want to hear it, I'll just go ahead and just start sharing a little bit about, you know, my ideas. One of the things I'll, I'll share with you is that over the last 10 to 12 years, I've done a lot of different things. And every time I've moved in on a particular method or way to make money, I've always done very well. Um, I've made over $150,000 with the AdSense program. I've made um, hundreds of thousands of dollars with affiliate marketing. I've built a big list. I leveraged the eBay affiliate program uh, extensively. Uh, what else have I done? I leveraged the power of expired domains. And Gene didn't even really get into expired domains, but I know that's something he's very, very savvy with. And one of the things I want to share with you about why I love this is first off, it's simple. This is not about a real complex system. This isn't about um, selling physical products. You know, there's a lot of programs right now that are fantastic, and I'm not knocking them in any way, but every opportunity has uh, pros and cons. And one of the things that I love about this is that the, the bar to entry is so incredibly low. You don't need to have hundreds of thousands of dollars. You don't have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on inventory for physical products to sell products through Amazon. Um, you don't have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on advertising. Uh, 
You don't have to spend an incredible amount of time and energy trying to learn um, methods like how to rank a website. Now, I've taught website ranking. I've taught SEO. I'm very good at it. But truth be told, I mean, let's call a spade a spade. I did SEO back in 2003, 2008, 2009, and really I focused on it until about 2011, and I started going into different methods because because it became harder and harder and more uh, unpredictable. And with this method, you can get started and you can acquire, you know, maybe 20 domains, and you can acquire these domains using uh, domain registry coupons and whatnot. And you can flip them for uh, a profit. Now, let's just for the fun of it, let's say, well, what can we do to increase the chance of, of hitting a home run r- right out of the gate? Or even just getting on base. You know, Maybe we're not looking to score a $5,000 tra- transaction. Maybe we just want to know that we're going to make money quickly and easily. And Gene, if you could do me a favor and just pull up your browser window. Sure. And open up a tab. Open up the tab that you had where you were talking about uh, super pages. Open up super pages. Okay. So. Oops. Yeah, you've got it open in a. Oh, yeah, I do have it open. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's all good. There it is. So this super pages method, like my little brain totally, like I, I saw a complete model that I know beyond a shadow of a doubt can make anybody here a ton of money. And I'm not saying that to try to sell you a bunch of stuff. I just believe in this, and I've done this industry. I've done you know marketing a long time, and I know how it works. You know, The thing that people want is an asset. People are looking for assets that they can use to help them move forward. And if someone is a plastic surgeon, in a smaller town and they are trying to just find a few more clients. You know, for a plastic surgeon, two or three more clients a month is a big deal. And that's a great point. You know, would it would it be worth their while to spend a thousand dollars on a domain name, uh, especially if they feel very confident that it can help them Get results. Now, just for the fun of it, Gene, go ahead and click on in the middle column under health and medicine, it says plastic surgery. Now, I, I have no idea, you know, me and Gene didn't talk about this. This is just for the fun of it. Now, right. all like New York plastic surgeon, that's gone. There's no way that's available. However, right. I'm just curious if some of these are available. Uh, Atlantic plastic surgery. There's no, that's gone too. I, I bet you all of those are gone. What do you think, Gene? Well, you know, you may be surprised. Let me uh, check it out. <clears throat> and, and here's kind of how my brain would work, guys. This is how I would slay this dragon. And let me tell you, friends, I would slay that dragon and I would line my pocket and this is exactly how I would get started. First, I'd go for the big money. I'd go for uh, plastic surgery. So so what are those ones on top? We have Camden, Everett, and Herndon. Now, those are fairly small towns probably, but the thing to remember too are there are different ways to word the domain that people aren't using that are still very excellent domain names. So. Like you can you can use specialized uh, plastic surgery, uh, you know, on different types of plastic surgery. Yeah, what, yeah whatever, absolutely. What, whatever certain surgeons specialize in, I and mean, approach them. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, I, I'm sorry to interrupt you, Gene. I'm just amazed that already there's three available. I mean, right. the very first thing we clicked on was you know uh, plastic surgery, I believe, and we came up with three dot coms. Now, what's really interesting to me is that these are exact match domain names ending in a .com 
and they're available. And let's just say there was, you know, who knows how big those towns are, like Camden. It might be super small. Maybe it's a population of 400. But I can guarantee you that I would spend a few hours, you know, two or three hours researching. I would be doing a lot of copying and pasting. And I would find some exact match domain names that I know would sell within a year. And in the case of that Camden, go back to the bulk domain registrar again. Okay, now open a new tab and then go to Google for me. And I just want to share with you guys this opportunity. So is that going to search Google? Yes, it will. Okay, so type in, uh, let me think here, flip, repeat, Oops. Bonus. And hit return. Now, there you go. Okay, so that, those are two listings uh, that I was able to achieve out of um, 39 million results with a brand new domain I registered about 60 days ago. So I registered, I registered a domain because I wanted to rank for flip repeat bonus. And notice it's it's an exact match domain. It's a .com. I didn't do any link building. I didn't do any anything. I launched a simple site that had maybe 700 words of text on the page and it ranked number 1. Um, I'm trying to think I can't think of any I think there's one other exact match domain that I launched in the last few months, but I just can't think of it. But what I'll tell you is that um, what I'm sharing with you is a no brainer and you really can't screw this up. If you follow just a few basic rules, you'll do great and you'll rank number one. Rule number one is use unique content. And one of the things you could, could do is I, I, I do not advocate using a content spinner, but if I was going to launch maybe 10 websites based on plastic surgery or attorneys or lawyers, I would absolutely fire up. A spinner and just spin for you know a, a Boston uh, attorney or Boston lawyer and so on and by being able to register an exact match domain name based on a domain that people are searching for because these are search terms again like that uh, Camden there's probably a search term now and then even if it's super small town someone there is probably going to type it in. And if they come up, if your site comes up number one, I can guarantee that it's only going to take a matter of time for the businesses, in other words, plastic surgeons or attorneys or lawyers to want your domain because it's going to rank number one and it's going to drive traffic. And I just, I don't know, it, it's amazing to me. I, and I, I thought about this a lot in the past. One of the things I came up with is zip codes. In fact, you know, I don't think this kind of works the same. I don't think you can flip a zip code, but people search Google for zip codes and then like attorney or restaurant or whatnot. And it's just really understanding how people search and then thinking about who are the buyers that would be interested in this kind of domain. Uh, anyway, it, it excites me. And this was such a great opportunity. And the price point is amazing. Right. Well, what I've showed you today is really the tip of the iceberg. I have so many more systems and methods uh, that I cover completely in the master domaining training. It's a daily, you get training every single day on new topics and new systems and new methods. So it's really incredible value. Uh, I wanted to make a point about using a, a you know, a, a site like Super Pages. They're showing you only the top uh, cities here. <clears throat> there are hundreds and hundreds of other cities available uh, that may not have quite as many population as these do, but they still have hundreds of thousands of people. <clears throat> you can get a list of all the top cities. Uh, there are various sites you can do that from. Copy the entire list, append the word for your keywords like plastic surgery, and you're going to find a ton of domain names that you can sell right away. Um, and another point about the SEO, the, uh, the themes that I developed, even though they, they have uh, articles on them that are used on many different sites, uh, because a lot of, you know, I'll, I'll register 100 domain names and put out 100 sites, um, 
because of the fact that each one is in a different location, it's not competing with others in that location. So Google still ranks it on the first page of Google. Well, and that's just the power of the domain, too, I personally believe, Gene. I think when you register an exact phrase that that and you have the dot com, it just ranks. I mean, it's hard to screw it up, you know. Right, right. And the fact that, um, you know, people search using these exact terms that you see right in front of you. So if you have a domain, uh, according to what people <clears throat> search for, and they pull up Google and they type in their keywords like Atlanta Plastic Surgery, they see a domain name come up that says exactly what they were searching for, atlantaplasticsurgery.com. They're going to click on that before they click on other links. Awesome. Well, uh, let's do this. Let's take some questions, Gene. Um, sure. And before we do that, I, I want to share one other idea with you guys, just because, you know, the, the, the neat thing about doing this full time for a living is that I think up a lot of crazy stuff and I do a lot of it and it works, but I think up ideas far more than I can do. And I want to share with you something I've thought about in the past, and that is, Gene, open up the, the browser again. Okay. And go to Google. So go straight to Google. Just go to the Google homepage. All right. It, it shows up a little bit better this way. Sure. And then in the search box, search for um, New York. And then, uh, so first off, I would do... Okay, I would look at all the search terms and I'd say none of them apply. New York Times, nope, New York State, lottery. But then I'd put uh, New York space A. Right. And I see assembly apartments. Okay, so what I would do is I would, I would start creating a database of local um, words that businesses would be interested in acquiring. Like right there, uh, air break. So assembly, apartments, those are three right. phrases that can be universally exchanged with different cities. Do you guys follow what I'm saying there? So in other words – let, let me interrupt for a second. I included in the course, in the training, I have tools that will pull up every variation of a keyword you type in plus letter A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and give you all the keywords from Google suggestions. Yeah, there you go. So basically, Gene it, it knows exactly how I'm thinking and how I'd move forward, and he's, he's doing it, and that's why he's on the call tonight, and that's why I'm so glad you showed up because what I want to let you guys know is this is a real business that you can use to get money in your pocket soon. Michael, I see your question. You know, I need money yesterday, and what I want you to think about for a moment is that is that – Money is exchanged on a basis of value and, uh, and assets. And if you follow this training, you can come up with domain names that are, that are being searched for. And they don't, need, it doesn't, they don't need to have a search volume of 20,000 a month. They can have no. a search volume of 37 because for the business, uh, for the doctor, for the attorney, for the attorney that works in a small town, but it's just big enough to have three practices and they're all competing against each other, they will drop a thousand dollars. Absolutely. Uh, and so yeah, super exciting. And 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 you can go through and, and mine all these keywords. You can come up with a list of the top 50 cities. And then it's just a matter of creating a huge list and going to bulk register and and bulk registering the top 50 domains based on keywords, types of businesses population and whatnot and it's not magic and it's not a push button and you make money and that's a good thing because it's real and I mean Gene this is what you do to this is how you earn your living that's just amazing to me and it's exciting and I love internet marketing and I, I really appreciate you coming on uh, today and sharing this with everybody oh I, I love talking about it and I love sharing it um, like I say I don't do many of these webinars but uh, what I gave you tonight is something of real value that can make you money right away. Um, you just need to go out there and do it and make the contacts. 
the domain names are just no-brainers for local businesses. You know, when you have a very specific domain name like Atlanta Plastic Surgery or, um, you know, Boston Plumber or anything that's very specific <clears throat> to a business, it's a no-brainer for a business to want to own that domain name. Yeah, really good stuff. Well, let's take a few questions. And, Gene, go ahead and flip on that slide. Guys, before we take questions, if you're thinking about this, I mean, what's the price of this again, Gene? Let's just make sure people know exactly what they're getting for their money. If you could go sure. through the offer a little bit more and talk about the bonus. Uh, because, honestly, I really encourage everybody on this call to jump in and take action because this is real. This is where Internet marketing gets real. And you're learning from someone that is walking the walk. And that's why Gene is on the call tonight. Right. And I've been doing this for 10 years, uh, more, more than 10 years, but I say 10 years because I, I lost count. <laughs> but masterdomaining.com slash BGJ is the link you want to go to uh, to take advantage of this offer. It's $37 a month, but this is what you get for the $37. You get training every single day in the form of video, audio, uh, total transcripts, um, and a PDF you can download containing all the information for that day. You get member perks, but you get at least 30 different solid trainings every single month for just 37 bucks. Each one of those days I could sell for $37. You're getting 30 of those in a whole month for 37 bucks a month. That's awesome. It's, and what do if someone joins now? Like, what are they going to get if they? What are they going to get in the first 24 hours? The first, as soon as they sign up. They will get at least 10 days. So you get day one through day 10. Okay, awesome. Okay? Um, and then, of course, every single day that you're a member, you will receive every future training as it comes out. So day, uh, day one <clears throat> through 10, you have introduction. You have three types of domaining. D domain names are virtual real estate, domain listings, selling marketplaces, how to take advantage of them. How do you determine the value of your domain name, valuation services, dynamics of domain flipping camp campaigns. Uh, here's a member perk. It's a theme that's worth $69, but you can get it for free. Action tips for selling your domain names, types of domains you focus on, uh, what to look for. So every day it's a very thorough training. Um, this is day 28, finding the perfect buyers. And as you can see, there's a video that goes through the whole thing. I won't play it, but oops, let me stop that. Um, I think it stops because <clears throat> I've got too many things open. You have uh, resources mentioned, the downloadable PDF, uh, the audio, and the – oops, there, there it goes. Stop. <laughs> then the transcript. So you have a total, <coughs> total uh, searchable um, website. Every training is totally searchable on the website, so you can look for keywords. Then I answer questions every day, too, uh, on each training. So when you – view a training and you want to know answers, uh, if something's not clear, you simply go to the bottom, place, uh, you know, leave your comment, leave your questions, and I answer them. So you're getting one-on-one, -on -one, not one-on-one -on -one time, but you're getting actual interaction with me uh, clarifying any points that you don't understand. Boy, that's awesome, Gene. And that just, you know, what I really wanted to know is when someone signs up tonight and they get started, because I know we have a lot of people that are excited about this. What are they going to get? Are they going to be able to move forward and start taking action and with 10 days of training and then new training coming out all the time? I honestly really love that model, and it's kind of how I do my coaching programs. I take people through. I give them just enough to keep them busy, but I don't you know, expect everybody to go through everything at the same time or all at once. It's just a little too much. So right. that's awesome. And then to have the, this bonus of uh, the local domain empire, as a bonus to, you know, only people that attended this webinar or watched the replay. And right now we're recording and I hope the recording works out. It usually does 90% of the time. Um, however, at this point, you know, this is only uh, being available to you folks tonight that are on this webinar. So uh, jump over to uh, master domaining. I think I got that right. Master domaining slash BGJ. And uh, you can also access the link in the chat toolbar and jump in and jump on this now because it's $37 a month. I want you to think about that. You're getting access to somebody that is doing 
what you're going to be doing, someone that's generating great results, and you've seen the testimonials, and I know those are real because this stuff just plain works, and you're going to be able to spend a, a lot of time and at, at a ridiculous price point. I think this kind of information for someone that's generating a full-time living online to be able to access this for $37 is, is an absolute steal. And again, at the beginning of the call, I kind of talked about better than affiliate marketing. And something to consider is when you become an expert at something, when you've generated tremendous results in one particular area, that is very, very, uh, what's the word? It becomes very interesting. It's the thing that people want. People want to learn from experts. If you're going to learn how to publish a book, you want to learn from someone that's probably published a lot of books, probably sold a lot of books. You want to work with an expert. And by going in one particular area and by learning the trade secrets inside and out, when you want to sell an affiliate program or an affiliate product, or a software app, if it relates to that thing that you're an expert in, I gotta tell you friends, that is when your earnings go through the roof. And that's why it's so exciting to be able to, you know, work, uh, jump into this kind of a training because not only can you uh, buy and sell and flip domain names, you can uh, leverage that knowledge and expertise later down the road to sell affiliate programs at a much higher rate because you have become an expert. So jump in and, and, and check that out. Uh, let's go ahead and do some Q&A. Um, first, uh, Leanne, uh, good to see you. We're going to get to your question in about a minute or so. A couple questions I'm going to address, and Gene, you can address them too. Um, someone mentioned, like, do we need content for the websites or the domains? And the answer is no. Most of the results... Most of the sales that Gene has uh, made have come strictly from a domain. So you buy a domain like uh, AtlantaPlumbingServices.com and you sell the domain to someone else uh, two weeks later, uh, three days later, three months later at a, at a very increased price, like maybe $800 a month or I'm sorry, $800 and so on. So you don't need to worry about building websites. However, that is something you can do, and I think it would be smart if you wanted to, but most of the sales Gene has made has been based off of just acquiring a domain name and flipping it for profit. Am I correct on that, Gene? That's absolutely correct. Uh, most of the domains I've sold have nothing going for them except for the domain name itself. Um, but like I say, with the local domains that I'm doing these days, I like to throw up a quick website just to give them eye candy. It's not even necessary. It just helps a little bit uh, to, to clench the sale. Um, there are you know, so many different avenues that you can take with domaining, different types of domains uh, beyond local domaining, and that's all covered in the training. Yeah, awesome. Another question we had before, uh, and we've got a lot of questions we'll get to in a minute, is how does this impact people that live in a foreign country if they're not in the United States? Is there any issues that they need to be aware of? If they'd like, you know, some of the people here are in the UK or maybe they're in Australia, et cetera. Well, any free enterprise country, you know, uh, is able to do it within their country. So it really doesn't have to be, uh, I don't know the laws of all the countries, but, you know, wherever you live, uh, if you're able to sell to a business, you know, you have a wide open market. Excellent. Uh, and, and there was a second question again about building out sites. So <clears throat> I think this is something that you could definitely create kind of a, a systemized approach. And I know, Gene, that after this many years in the system, I bet every day you just you work in a certain way. You do certain things every day and it results in sales and whatnot. Sure. Can you tell me, uh, like... What is an average month for you as far as like how often will you make say, does, is it does it vary a huge amount um, as far as buying and selling and like how, how much time you spend doing this like how, what's a typical month for you? Oh well, I spend about an hour you know finding domain names every day. Because 
because I like to really research and find a ton of domain names that are great. Um, and I'll register the ones that I think I, I'm able to pay attention to at the moment and uh, make offers to prospects. So I do that on a daily basis. And I make sales every day. You make sales every day? Oh, sure. Wow. And how, how many domains do you currently own? I, I keep an inventory of about 2,000. But, so, Mr. But, Dark Overlord, you currently have about 2,000 domains. Is that correct? That's correct. However, I want to make it clear that you do not have to have an inventory at all. You can register 10 domains to, uh, you know, even three domains today and just approach businesses and sell them. Once yeah. you sell, you know, the beautiful thing about this business is you can register 100 domain names, and if only one of them sells, it makes it hugely profitable because the domain names you've registered only cost a couple of bucks each. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, you can get started, register 100 domains for $2, $3, $1, or whatever the case, whatever the coupon you can acquire, and then, like you said, it just takes one. That's the, that's the powerful thing about what we're doing is that this is, again, based on an asset, and it just takes one person to really want that one domain that you own. And, and the thing about it is it truly is an asset. That's one of the things I mentioned in my email is that, you know, it's assets that drive business. And if you own um, CheapTickets.com, that's an incredible asset. Um, if you own uh, BostonAttorney.com or BostonDefenseAttorney.com, that's an amazing asset. And people will spend thousands of dollars to get it. And, and anybody here on the call can do that. And again, I know you mentioned, you, knew, you know, you currently have about 2,000 domains, um, but anybody can get started by buying 25 or 50 or 100, and it just takes one sale to put you in profit. So exactly. let's take some more questions. Um, in the training, do you teach general domains or mainly local domains? And that's from oh, Dan. I, I train everything that I know about domaining. Uh, the, the local domains is just one small aspect of the entire picture. So everything you want to learn about domains, you're going to learn through this training. Uh, it's just bite size. You know, every day I give you a certain training, so you you'll get day after day after day after day of training. Uh, but I don't give you all the information up front because it would just totally overwhelm you. I give you what is going to help you at the, you know, as you proceed into the course. Awesome. Um, next question, uh, Jen. I think you're still here. I'm not sure. I really understand. How do you get other niche websites? I don't understand the question. Yeah, yeah. So, so Jen, if you can be a little bit more specific, um, Joel, I am recording right now. There will be a, re a replay unless something happens, but usually that's not the case. So I'll send out an email. Um, probably tomorrow, and, and that'll be available for a few days or so. <clears throat> uh, Joan says, great info. I have to go now. We'll watch the replay. Uh, can I operate on an Apple Mac, MacBook Pro? Absolutely, Daryl. There's no question. I mean, I've done a tremendous amount of business on a MacBook Pro, so you can too. Uh, missed the first part. I'm a bit confused. Would love to see a replay. Alan, we'll go ahead and get a replay out for you. Uh, are there alternatives to using the theme websites? Oh, of course. That, that That's just one way that I developed in order to facilitate a really quick website. I uh, created it so I can <clears> upload <throat> the files, and it takes me two to three minutes to have a complete functional website, as opposed to installing WordPress and installing themes and plugins and so forth that take, you know, half hour to an hour sometimes. I want to be quick and efficient. Uh, there are many, many, many options that you can have to upload a single page website just to have something there to visually appeal to the business that's buying your domain name. So, yeah, you can do it in many different ways. And the thing about it is, is, you know, what happens with people that are successful is they get in, they get started, they worry about what's in front of them, they take action, and they keep moving forward. So you, you develop routines and systems and ways to do things. And, and, and these are the kind of questions that if it looks good to you and you're excited about the opportunity – I'm going to advise you to jump to that domain right now and get in. And here's what I want to share with everybody on this call right now. We had about 95 people on this webinar tonight. Right now we have 61. 
I can guarantee you that there are people buying this product right now and I can guarantee that some of those people are going to make money and it's going to blow their freaking mind. And my question is, are you going to be one of those individuals and are you going to make it happen? And you might be thinking, well, Johnson, that was a pretty damn good pitch and you're a good salesman. And to that, I would say, you know what? This has nothing to do with a sales pitch. I'm here because I want to help you get results. And quite honestly, if this was a sales pitch, it would be for a product that was priced much more than $37 a month because I'm not going to make a whole bunch of money on this. This is good. And I hope you jump in because this training, again, is going to have an impact on some of the people that are right here, right now, tonight. And I want to know if you're going to be one of those people. Now, this kind of translates into our next question. And uh, Gene, I'll go ahead and, and ask you this. And then I'm going to just jump in and share my thoughts for about a minute. And this is from Harry. And Harry, I'm glad you're on the call tonight. And he says, is the training dripped daily? And how long before we can get results? Yes, the, the training is dripped daily. You get 10 days up front. And then every day thereafter, you get brand new training every single day. Um, you can take advantage of the first 10 days of training and start getting results. You can, just from what I showed you tonight, you can have results tomorrow. So it just depends on how much you immerse yourself into, this, into the training. You know, Gene, I love it. And basically, your answer was, you can get results tomorrow. You can make money tomorrow. And Michael, you're saying the same thing. I need money yesterday. Well, what I would encourage you to do, Michael, is figure out what is best for you, what method makes the most sense, and focus solely on that and go ballistic. And here's the biggest advice I can give anybody that's trying to figure out how to get the money. You know, for a long time, I wanted to make money. And I kept wanting, and sooner or later, I started making money. And life was grand. <clears throat> pardon me, and great things started happening, and I started getting great results. However, when I started to change my thinking, when I decided that I'm tired of seeing everybody around me talk about money, I'm tired of seeing all these people getting results, and when I said, today I stake my claim and I'm going to get results, and I am going to make money and I'm not going to hope to make money or I'm not going to figure, you know, wonder when, but it's going to happen. My life started changing in amazing ways. So, Harry, you can make money a lot sooner than you might think. But instead of wondering, why not just say that, you know, I'm going to research this. I'm going to jump in. It's 37 bucks a month. I mean, I can't go wrong. I mean, what's my risk? I'm going to jump in and I'm going to really not just learn this stuff, but implement and take action. And when you get in that frame of mind where it's going to be, where your back's against the wall, amazing things can happen. So, you know, there's a few of you that are asking these kinds of questions. And that's awesome because I'm glad that you're here. And I'm glad that you're trying to figure out how to make it happen. And the thing is, I just want to impress upon you to act and implement. And if you haven't done enough of that, and you're asking a lot more questions and asking and implementing, if you're not you know, putting it to action, then I would encourage you to change that as soon as possible because, my friends, that is when the magic will happen. Okay, another question from Chris. Is the training, training set up in a manner? And I was wondering the same thing, Chris, so great question. Is the training set up? in a manner from step one to step two to step three, et cetera? Um, okay, that, that's, that's a hard question to answer because what I strive to do with the training is to provide information for all levels of people that are doing this. So, yes, it is in, in a sequential order to an extent of um, – I, I want there to be variety in the training, but – it does progress and give you more in-depth information as days go on. It's not necessarily step one, step two, step three, but it's training that applies to as you proceed, if that makes sense. And I think, I think this is what I want to add to that, Gene. I am confident 
and knowing you for a long time, we've probably known each other, known of each other for five or six years or so, maybe right. a little longer than that. I, I consider you uh, a good friend on Facebook. We've exchanged messages before. And I've seen what you've been doing with your business on Facebook. And again, this is one of the reasons that Gene is on the call. I mean, I've watched what the guy has done and I see that he's doing it. And I am very confident that if you get in and you study all of the 10 days off the bat and you stick around for a few more days, you're going to have a very clear idea of how to move forward. And one of the biggest things to, to think about is that the longer you do nothing and you wonder and you don't really take action, the harder it is to take action and actually implement. But when you start uh, moving forward, when you start implementing, when you start actually doing, it gets easier to make decisions and move forward. And I'm, and I'm very confident that everybody here can go through this training that Gene is providing and move forward, take action and make money. That's the bottom line. You know, we can get into the training, we can go through a few days of training, and we can make money. So, you know, something to think about. Okay, uh, is there a coupon code that's asking for one? No, there is not. It's, it's already discounted from 97 to 37. Right. Okay, great. Uh, Henderson VA is near Washington, D.C. Indeed. So, you know, it's it's just one of the things I love about Internet marketing is the chase of money and the journey. So I was actually at lunch with a very successful friend here in Colorado Springs, and we were talking about the journey. And, you know, I just came off my book launch and it was very successful. Gene, thank you for supporting me on that. I had so yep. much support from the community, the internet marketing community. And it was a joy to finally be able to launch that. But, you know, just as fun was the journey. And, and this to me is like another journey, like figuring out how to move forward and acquire the best names and research cities and look at populations and, and find a domain that maybe is like Henderson Plumbing Services and then try to just, you know, figure out are there plumbers that would be interested in this domain name. And wow, I mean, this is just 37 bucks a month and you get to work with someone that's making a lot of money, paying their way through life based on this. And you get a, a chance to, you know, watch behind and watch their every move, get instruction, move forward and so on. I'm yeah. in Australia. How would it work for me trying to sell to U.S. businesses if I only have an Aussie phone number, thanks. <laughs> well, you, you can easily get a, a, a U.S. phone number for a dollar a month. Uh, there are various uh, websites that, that you're able to just register a phone number and use that. Yeah, and uh, you could probably do Skype. Um, Leanne, and this is your question. It's always a pleasure to see you, Leanne. So I, I don't think that's a, a showstopper. I really don't. I think it's just a matter of, you know, figuring out the best way. And I bet you, I bet you a lot of your sales, Gene, I bet you never talk to anybody. I bet you it's all email and uh, you exchange a few things and it's a done deal. Yeah, I, I never make outgoing calls. I, I you know, say, I do everything through email. And if, if one of the prospects wants to talk to me, then I'll tell them to, you know, give me a call. And it puts you in the, uh, the driver's seat when somebody calls you asking questions as opposed to you trying to call and sell. You're not, you're not selling to them. You're just answering their questions when they call. And that in itself it happens very rarely. People understand it's a domain name. Either I buy it or I don't, you know. Uh, yeah. But sometimes, but sometimes right. people want to know that you're a real human being and not a scammer of some kind. So they want to talk to you and hear your voice. Uh, but that happens so very uh, rarely. Awesome. And Karen says, yep, that's so cool. And then she says, as a side note, I'm loving your book. Took five weeks to get it from Barnes & Noble, but I got it. Well, I'm glad you're digging it, Karen. Um, good stuff. Kathy has a question. and She says, do you always sell the site or do you ever lease them? Oh, I, I have a leasing model as well, and that's that will be covered in the training as once we get to that. So that's kind of interesting. And I'll just mention that. Imagine... <clears throat> If you were able to acquire a domain name, 
that was a little higher level. So maybe maybe you got Atlanta Plumbing Services, and there were 50 plumbers in the city of Atlanta, and you were able to uh, put up a website and uh, lease the domain to a business. And what if the website ranked number one? Like basically like lease this site before your competitor does. There's lots of opportunity. So there we have it. So uh, leasing, site leasing is going to be covered by Gene as well. Absolutely. We talked about, seems like we got a lot of Aussies on the call tonight. So um, Karen, or I'm sorry, Daryl is also from Australia. And I think we covered that, Daryl. So I think you're good. Oh, how much are themes? So, so uh, Jen, uh, to buy a website theme can be as cheap as uh, $10, $9. You can get themes for free. Uh, you could use WordPress if you'd like. If you had, if you were starting out with 20 sites and uh, you or 20 domains and you wanted to launch sites, you could use free themes. So, lots of opportunity there. Uh, Chris Irby, nice to see you on the call. Uh, Gene, does your training explain how to collect money and turn over the domain name to customer? Oh, absolutely. That's that's covered in, in detail. Uh, it, it's a very easy process, but there are a lot of ways you can do it. So I cover all of that. Right. So James, and this is another uh, very similar question. I'm just going to try to simplify this for everybody here. Uh, when you sell a domain name, how do you get paid? So again, usually the way it works is you make your uh, domain available on a site that sells domains. Like Sidu is one of the domains that uh, Gene mentioned in the training. So you can list your site and maybe you list it for $500. Now, if the site sells and it's on Sidu and it sells through Sidu, you pay 15%. So you're gonna pay like maybe $70 to them and you're gonna keep 410 or 415. Okay, so you're gonna keep mo most of the money and you keep that for yourself. And one of the services that they offer is an escrow. So what happens is the customer puts their money in like a little uh, temporary bank account. And then you transfer their domain name to the individual. And when the individual uh, takes possession of the domain name, then CDU sends you the money. So that's really awesome because number one, you're protected. You don't release your domain name until the money is in the account. And number two, you get to use the service that sometimes will result in a sale. You don't have to do much. You just list it. And once in a while, your domain will sell based on that service. So that's really how you get paid. Um, it's very safe. And it's also just a nice service that's built in for a nominal fee. Did I do okay with explaining that, Gene? Yeah, you did very well, but I want to make a point that <clears throat> when you do use a service like CEDO to, to, to complete your transaction, they take uh, about 15% 15, 15 of the sale. But many of the domains that I sell, I sell outside of those sites, and I use a third-party escrow service that only charges about 3% of the sale price. Okay, so again, you can use... If your domain doesn't sell through that service, you can use another escrow and it only costs 3%. So instead of 15, it goes down to three. So the bottom line is that you get the money, your domain name is protected, and uh, Gene has figured out all the details and you can basically access in-depth training and, uh, and more and whatnot based on what we're offering tonight. So, you know, head over to masterdomaining.com forward slash forward slash BGJ. Now I want to take, I want to mention something here. Okay. I really would love for you guys to jump in and to take action. And I know it's easy to sit on the sidelines. So, and I want to provide an, an incentive for you. So this bonus will be available for the next three days. And quite honestly, you know, you know, geez, scarcity. Why are you doing that? Because I want you guys to jump in. This is great training. I really believe it can help you. And if you're able to jump in and buy this for the next three days, you'll get access to this special local domaining training that normally sells for $67. So we'll make the bonus available for three days. 
and uh, we'll get the replay out by tomorrow morning, probably tonight. Um, and I hope you guys jump in because this is seriously great training. This is, uh, you know, from the horse's mouth, so to speak. Will there be any email support or is there a forum? So what there is, is you can ask questions in the members training area. If you have a question about a lesson, you can ask a, a question and uh, Gene will go ahead and reply. In fact, we saw in the members site uh, plenty of responses where Gene is in there, he's responding to people, he's answering questions. So Jen, you will be taken care of. Uh, and Daryl said, what would be a good opening ba balance to start a business? Like how much money do we need to get started with this? Well, the, the amount of money that you want to start with really depends on your financial situation. You know, if you have plenty of money to spare, go ahead and invest in 100 domain names. But I really recommend you starting with a good starting point would be, would be 10 domain names, uh, even five domain names. Focus on those five or 10 domain names and be determined to make that sale. Once you sell one of those, that's 500 or 1,000 or a couple of thousand dollars in your pocket. You can turn around, use those profits to invest in more. Never spend more than you can afford to lose. I mean, that's, that's logic with any business. Never spend more than you can afford to lose. You know, just take it bite size until you understand what you're doing and get a system down for yourself. But, you know, if you're independently wealthy already, go ahead and invest in hundreds of domain names. But I recommend just starting with five or ten. Awesome. So uh, the thing I really like about your response, Gene, is number one, by recommending that people get started with five dom domain names, it puts the pressure on where the pressure should be, which is making a sale. Exactly. And I bet you, how many of your students have jumped in, have uh, bought 100 domain names, and then have asked, when does it happen? I... That, that's one of the biggest mistakes people make when they become a domainer. They invest in domain names that they think they're going to be able to sell, but they never focus on the sales process. All they do is invest in domain names and wait for somebody to approach them. That's not the way to do it. You must pay attention to the domains you register with and register domains that you that you already um, have a plan for to approach prospects with. Don't just register a domain because it sounds good. You want to have an end result in, an end result in mind with each domain that you register, and be determined to promote that domain until it sells. So I want I, I want you guys to think about this. You can get in, you can go through this training in the next 24 hours. You can then register five domain names and you can spend a week hustling, spending out, sending out a few emails. And when I say hustling, you know what hustling really means? Instead of just taking in content, you're just implementing. And literally, I bet you can spend an hour a day and I bet you'll be amazed at what you can accomplish if you buy five domains and no more and then you focus on acquiring a buyer for each domain and you will be amazed at what you're able to achieve and you know it's funny because some of the training that I'm I've done in the past I start people off with really simple projects like launch a children's book because it's easy and you can get it done and then we go on to something a little bigger and in the process they make a little bit of money and they can reinvest their money and so on so here's an opportunity for you to get started to to buy five domain names and then find buyers for those make some money and then one sale and you can buy 10 more domains and then you can start focusing on selling those and, and this is how this is why you're always making sales, Gene, because I bet you you're trying you're probably buying one or two or maybe five domains a day or two domains a day. And then you focus on how am I going to sell? Who, where is the buyer going to come from? And then as you do that, you basically you put some uh, fuel in the funnel. You basically put some prospects. You, you get some attention to those domain names and they sell. Correct. And, and, and to, to be more specific, my process of selling a domain name is finding what's available for me to register, first of all, uh, by doing the process I showed you tonight, or um, just 
you know, just checking to see what domains you think of are available and you think have a market. Um, and I, I provide many different research methods to do that. And then you want to check the market to see what potential buyers there are in that market. Once I'm satisfied with the fact that, okay, there are plenty of prospects in this town for this domain name or in this niche for this domain name, <clears throat> then I'll go ahead and register the domains and then begin my um, campaigns to, to do email. Awesome. Uh, Sharon asks, can we cancel any time? Oh, absolutely. All, you, don't even, you don't even have to tell me. You just log into PayPal and say stop this uh, subscription. Awesome. Uh, second, would you recommend any other types of domains for overseas? Dot UK or COUK, dot, um, dot com, dot AU? That depends on whether you're, you're registering a domain <laughs> that's going to be used uh, globally or if it's going to be used for a local market. If you're using uh, a domain name for a local business uh, market in the UK, then by all means register a .co.uk uh, or whatever they have for the UK uh, because that's what businesses would use in that area. If they're registering, you know, if you're selling the domain to someone who does global business, then a .com is still king for all locations. Excellent, excellent. Well, we have a number of people that are jumping in. Um, Harry is on board, and um, I'm just going to try to log in here, see what's happening with that. Uh, let's take a few more questions, and I think we'll start to wind it down. Uh, sure. Well, yes, there will be a, a replay. I'll, I'll get that out soon. There's no coupon code. We talked about that. Uh, thank you, guys. Colin says thank you. Gene. Thank you all for attending and for listening. And I, I, I want to tell you again, this is a solid business. It's not something that was just dreamed up. It's been around since the beginning of the Internet. People have bought and sold domain names ever since there was such a thing. <clears throat> it's a, it's a rock-solid business, but you have to apply yourself. You have to learn about it. And you know, just like a, any real business, you've got to do something with it. It's not a magic button. It's not uh, instant cash. It can be instant cash, but that's not the approach you take. You can register a domain tonight or today, wherever you are in the world, and sell it tomorrow. You can do that. It takes little hustle. You can register. You know, Many times I'll register domain names, do some mailing campaigns, and those don't sell at all. So I let them uh, sit there. And then I'll reapproach those domains a month later or a couple months later. Remember, you have a whole year for that domain to sell before it, it's time to renew. So Lisa says, so you have 2,000 in inventory but haven't sold yet. So understand that, like, this is what Gene does for a living. And, you know, he's scaled his business. It's as simple as that. And... Um, I'm sure you've got domains that you know are worth ten thousand dollars, and your your price is ten thousand dollars, and you can sit on that domain for five years, and it's going to cost you fifty bucks. And at one point, you'll get fifty thousand dollars, and you'll be good to go. So that's a great point. You know, a lot of the domains I register are the higher end domains, so I wait for the right buyer, and it can take years to do that. However, I want you to know also that just because I have 2,000 domains in inventory, that's because I choose to have that many, uh, that to have that variety, and when I sell, let's say, 10 domains or 20 domains or 30 domains, I replace those with new ones. So I keep, I maintain that level of about 2,000 domain names by constantly replacing the ones I sell. Indeed. Yeah, so we talked about um, differences between uh, foreigners living outside the U.S. I mean, not really, guys, unless you're in some country that doesn't allow you to, I don't know, conduct business. It's pretty, it's pretty much the same. You know, you buy a .com domain, you find a buyer, money is exchanged, uh, you know, you're going to get paid in your country's currency, um, et cetera. Yeah, it's a pretty universal business. Uh, you just have to uh, consider whether or not you're selling to a local market or to a global market. 
So, uh, Mikhail says, thanks, Brian. And Gene is an awesome membership with the most complete domain training and tools I've ever seen. So, you know, that's just someone who happens to have come on and knows of Gene. And it sounds like they're already a member and they're really saying nice things. And again, that's why Gene is here tonight. Um, I don't really bring on a ton of people. I don't do a ton. I promote things that I believe in and I promote things based on the product, not, you know, how EPCs or this or that. And, and this is kind of uh, for me, it's kind of a giveaway. I'm going to make a couple hundred bucks. Uh, it's 37 bucks a month. I mean, seriously. So, you know, one thing to consider is that this is for you just as much as it's for me. And it's just as much as it's for Gene. I mean, there's, it's not like we're getting rich on this. Gene makes his money through do, uh, domaining. That's his primary source. A um, couple more questions and we're going to wrap up. So I, they keep coming, but um, we're going to wrap up soon. So Harry says, thank you. Uh, I'm going to be one of the people. So it sounds like Karen is going to sign up. She says, yes, I'm going to be one of those people. Well, good for you, Karen. I'm glad you joined. And I, I want to encourage anybody else. If I made you a little uncomfortable earlier and I talked about implementing and taking action, then the reason you became uncomfortable is because you're probably spending too much time learning, listening, going to webinars, wondering, thinking. That's great. But there comes a point in time where you either have to shit or get off the pot. There comes a point in time when it's time to jump in. And I see a lot of toe dippers. I see a lot of people that are kind of envious of those people that are enjoying amazing pool party. You know, and people are in the pool, they're splashing around, they're having all kinds of fun. And there's all these people on the outskirts of the pool. And a few of them, once in a while, they walk up and they dip their toe in and they just think, you know, I sure wish I could play with those people in the pool. But the thing about success is that you really need to commit to yourself and you need to commit to the opportunity. And when you do that and when you jump in and you really decide that today is the day, I'm going to stake my claim. I'm going to jump in and take action. Amazing things can happen. So, uh, Karen, I'm glad that you jumped in. And, you know, study the material. Buy some domains and get busy because anything can happen. Is there an upsell or OTO? No, there is not. No, there is not. Okay, great. Thanks. Great call. Kathy says thank you. She's got to go. Can you sell domain names on eBay? Yes, you can. Or maybe you can anymore. Can you still do that, Gene? Oh, sure you can. Oh, sure you can. I, I haven't I, done that haven't in a while. In a while. Um, I'm, uh, getting I'm getting feedback here. Um, um, but eBay but is eBay definitely is one of the marketplaces you can use. Awesome. I turned down – that might have been from me, so I turned down my speakers. Hopefully it's better. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, that's, yeah, that's much better. Um, yeah, eBay is a marketplace for domains, but uh, you typically get a uh, much smaller price for your domains there. You may sell it for 40 or $50. Dollars. Um, Hector says, but doesn't the fact that if you don't have a address in the U.S., doesn't that cause mistrust? You know, I think it's just all in how you see it. And instead of wondering why it won't work, I mean, I really think you can make a go of this. Um and there's a million reasons why things won't work, but it's just a matter of jumping in and figuring it out. And I, I'm sure there's tons of domainers that live all over the world, and, and they've addressed the fact that they don't live in the U.S. I mean, honestly, for me, if you list a domain name and someone wants to buy it, and, you, and they put money in an escrow account, and the only way that you get the money is if you release the domain, I mean, that's all you need to say. If someone's worried about the fact that you live in a foreign country, you can say, we'll use an escrow and your money will be safe and your money won't be turned over to me until I release the domain name. And, and, and that's, one of the, that's one of the benefits of using a, a site like Cedo or uh, Afternic because they're buying through that website, not from you directly. And Leanne, uh, Gene does show you how to receive the payment, so the domain, and we kind of talked about that. It's all based on escrow services, and it's pretty simple. It's a third-party website, and they hold the money, and they don't release the money 
to you until you release the domain. So everybody is safe. Um, pretty simple. All right, guys. So um, I, I'm going to be honest. Um, the questions keep coming. We've gone for two hours. Uh, you can cancel at any time. I think it's time to jump in or not. You know, whether you're going to join or not. Maybe you've got questions that haven't been answered. But this is what I can tell you. If you're interested in this, it's thirty-seven dollars. A month. Holy smokes. Where can you go on a webinar and get trained by someone that's doing what they're teaching? And then where can you join a program for $37 a month? Not too many. So I'll tell you, honestly, I think Gene has uh, uh, mispriced this. I think this is a little bit lower than a, what I would sell it for. But I still wanted to bring them on because this is great training. That means you're in an amazing opportunity to jump in, to test this out, to get access, and to move forward. If you're trying to look to figure out how to make money, I really encourage you to jump in today. And you can access the chat toolbar, and I'll put in that link again. It's masterdomaining.com forward slash BGJ. And if you access that, you'll be able to join tonight. You'll be able to access the information. You can start going through the training. And most important, you can start making money. I know you can do this. I wouldn't have you on the webinar if I didn't think it was possible. It's totally possible. And, uh, you know, the opportunity is going to pass you by if you don't jump in. So I hope you do because I know uh, at this point we've got about, it looks like 10 people or so have bought. Um, I'm going to refresh here. And I know some of the people typed in that they did buy. And, and I'm excited for those of you that bought. So take action, implement. You're going to get access to local domaining empire as a bonus. So you buy through, through me, uh, through this webinar, through this special link. You're going to get access to local domain empire. And you're getting uh, good stuff on, for pennies on the dollar. Thank you, Gene, so much for uh, you know, spending some time with us tonight. I really appreciate it. You're very welcome, and I thank, thanks for having me. It's been a pleasure. And uh, I just want to reiterate that this, this is the real deal. It's a real business. So jump in and test the waters and just get active with it. Awesome. So Sharon says she will be buying. Uh, Leanne says she's in. Leanne, I'm super excited for you. Um, Awesome, Karen, you're welcome. And thanks for everybody for being here. Thank you, Gene. It's been a, a lot of fun. And uh, we'll see everybody soon. And Gene, I'll see you on Facebook. Okay, Brian. Take care now. Take care, buddy. Cheers, everybody. Bye. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. Awesome, Harry. I'm glad you're buying. Good stuff. Lots of buyers tonight. Good job, Gene. And thanks again, everybody. We'll take care and we'll see you soon.